all seen the defensive statistics. I think mean, giving up like 15 points a game or whatever mm -hmm. it is. They haven't given up 20 a game. You know, how frustrating is it to be two and four seeing those numbers? Uh, you know, it's just you feel like you could be be better. The two and four um, season, I don't feel like that defines defines us at all. Um, you know, I, I, you know, it's, it's a sad thing the fact that we are two and four. But at the same time, man, I feel like we're looking forward to the next challenge that we got for this week, man, with the Chargers. And you know, the only thing we can do right now, we can't let this thing, um, you know, linger like I always say each and every week. Um, a loss is a loss. There's nothing you can do right about it right now. And the only thing you can do right now is to prepare for this next week and try to win. On defense, isn't the most dangerous thing always trying to do too much? Yeah. Um, I would say it's really more of just. The little things, as far as our defense, I feel like we just want to be as perfect as possible. We, we have such high standards for ourselves. So anything we give up, any if it's a run, whether it's you know field goals or anything, we want we have really high standards, and I feel like it's the same way with the whole team. So um, we just try to make sure that you know everything as far as the mindset. We just try to keep the same thing each and every week, and that we want to be per perfect. How big of a cloud is the quarterback situation mm -hmm. in this locker room right now? Um, I mean, for us as a defense, I know it's. It's a situation where we, we I mean, there's nothing re really we can do about it because they, you know, it's a whole different side. Um, the only thing we can do is, you know, try to apply our offense as many opportunities as possible. Um, I feel like that's what great defenses do. Um, you know, whether the, regardless of the situation that we're in, whether we're, you know, field position that we're in, we want to try to make sure that, you know, we we we, we handle our end on the, on that side. This is such a close net locker room. How mm -hmm. important is it for you guys to like even maybe you physically tell the offense, remind them, we got your back, man. Don't worry yeah. about it. We got your back. Yeah, we will continue to say that. Um, you know, because it might be a game that we might be uh, down on some stuff, and you know, teams are scoring on us. You never know. So um, we want to continue to keep that chemistry. It's, at this point of time in the year, you you don't want to try to you know part ways with guys. You don't want to have that type of you know. Environment or energy around the um, locker room. You want to, you know, try to keep this thing as po um, positive as possible. And once you get a win up under your belt, you know, it's just, it's a lot easier to cope with some of the losses that you had in the past, and you're able to, you know, kind of get a more confident team and, uh, you know, get a kind of a momentum going. Jayon's out for a while. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have a guy like mm -hmm. Wesley who can step mm -hmm. in and play 59 snaps? Yeah, it's it's very important. Um, you know, Wesley never lost a step, man. He, I mean, he picked up where he left off, and. You know, have that type of guy to be able to play as long as he has in the league and be able to, you know, continue to do the great things that he's been doing, man. It's just, you know, yeah, I, I got kudos to him, man. And, um, you know, it's, it's definitely inspiring to me. You know, hopefully I could be able to play as long as he played and be able to still play and run and do the things that he's doing now. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's a definitely impressive thing to, you know, to see. It feels on the outside like mm -hmm. this team and this season is at a crossroads. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Um, I just feel like, you know, as a whole, we just – you know, guys, we, we, this is not something we expected. We 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 obviously expected we could go four and four and zero, four five and zero, like every other team. And you know, when you get hit in the mouth with a you know, you know, a situation like this, you gotta. It's, it's all about how you respond. The, the the good teams and the great teams is the difference is the fact that how they respond. If you're able to come out and be able to get a couple wins above your belt and be able to turn this thing around, that's the main thing. Do you think you have the guys in this locker room too? I think we do. I think we do. I think it's all about you know what we're what we're doing wrong and, and not so much what everybody else is doing. Um, you know the number one thing is for every guy to hold himself accountable to know and be able to look themselves in the mirror and be like, you know, do I need to be better at certain situations and be able to you know do those things and be able to respond on Sunday. So you know once we once we handle it, I feel like we'll be all right. Do you remember the Marcus that won the Heisman mm -hmm. and the guy who won the playoff mm -hmm. game in Kansas City? Mm -hmm. How hard is it to believe, having seen all mm -hmm. that? That you're in the situation that you're right now, waiting to find out who's yeah. going to start on Sunday. Yeah, um, you know this is that's the name of the game, man. The NFL is unpredictable, um, whether it's an injury, whether it's a, somebody's you know change of position or anything. So um, even with Marcus' situation, I mean, the, the guys in his situation, he's doing everything he possibly can to um, be able to help win. And um, you know sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it don't. But at the same time, you know it, there's a reason why you got you know two sides of the ball. You got offense and defense and. You know, both sides have to work together in order to get a win.